quick introduction. Yep. What's up, guys? Renee Sosa, 10 Planet Brown Belt, um, Russ, 10 Planet Blue Belt. Um, guys, we're just gonna look at the buggy, um, buggy choke, and we're just gonna we're gonna look at it from side control, and then we're gonna look at it from a body lock pass. Um, body lock pass gives you the buggy choke, but we're just gonna look at what is the buggy choke. And I think initially, a lot of people, right? Like I think you can say this too. A lot of people at first would be like, "Oh, I'm not long enough. I'm not like whatever." Like it's just like about how you cut the angle, just like a triangle, right? So I'm in my full guard right here, and I go for a triangle. When I go for my triangle right here, right, I'm not gonna try to finish like this and like just ah, squeeze, pull the head, Johnny. No, right? Like cross the arm, break the posture, grab your shin, adjust your angle, right? We're cutting this. My knee comes to his ear, right? We shouldn't even have his tricep in here, right? Like just, and, and then when I lock this in, right? A big misconception that people just continue to like bridge your hips, right? We should be scissoring our legs and bringing our knees together, right? It's gonna be the same thing with the buggy choke, right? So we're gonna start like this. My partner is in side control. I'm gonna have a frame in on the hip, right? I'm gonna circle this frame around his neck, right? And the biggest thing that I think people do wrong with this initial grip right here is they like act like they wanna put the arm over. I want to act like I want him to push into me, right? So push, yeah, exactly, right? I want that connection right there, okay? For two reasons. Sometimes because if I'm here and I lock this up and I don't like this, I can immediately use it to ghost escape into my darts, right? But <clears throat> I need that action reaction, right? So I'm pulling my feet in close to my butt. If I can knee elbow escape and already get my bottom side shin in here, that's amazing, right? Because then maybe he's still trying to... Uh, create this chest to chest pressure. I push this through, and then if I can keep this knee elbow escape, I'm gonna keep my bottom side chin there. I'm gonna push into him. I'm gonna turn all the way to my right elbow, get up to my right elbow, okay? And then this is the biggest thing people mess up, right? They reach their arm like that, boom. I just tap myself, right? That's a joke, right? Don't be, don't be a loser, right? So elbow strike, knee pinch, right? Look how I'm not like uh, being okay with the space that I'm given here. I'm taking all of this space as I'm extending my chest and like really sitting up. Uh, elbow down right here. Knee is coming right to me. Look, look how every time I'm moving, I'm bringing my knee up. It's moving his head, right? Then I'm planar flexing my toes, lifting my leg up, turning my grip all the way in as I hit my uppercut. As I hit my uppercut, now I can dorsiflex my feet. Or now I can dorsiflex my Top side foot, I'm gonna look for this inside position with this, um, with this arm. As I keep this, right, I don't wanna rotate my hands down, I wanna keep my body bladed. I'm gonna extend my right leg. I'm gonna continue to blade my body as I pull my heels in my butt. All right, so the squeeze that people have trouble with is because they're not setting their, themselves up properly, right? Like, as I have this bladed and I'm pulling everything together, I should be like, kind of pulling my heels in my butt as I'm bringing this elbow across my body, okay? So one more time from side control and then we'll just do a quick body lock variation. So here, look, I'm pushing this through. If I can get this inside, amazing. If not, I will uh, keep your knee and your elbow together. Yep. If, that, if that's not possible, that's totally okay, right? Take your time, do one thing at a time. So I'm pushing my frames in. Uh, what the person will do here is they will not, if they're thinking that you're gonna bug each other, they're not gonna push their head across the center line. They're gonna just kind of stay back this way. Right, that's what J-Rod was doing to me initially on who's next. So I just started framing real hard, and then when they push back, we send this frame through. Knee pinch, right? If I can't get this to the inside, I'm just gonna hip escape away a little bit to help me get up to my right elbow, okay? I'm not reaching immediately, right? I elbow strike, knee pinch, lock it up, find the inside, lock this up right here, and then it's just time and that squeeze over time. Okay, last, last one just from, um, Body lock pass because this is the most easy thing. Here, uh, sit back. I extend my hip, my hooks. All right, I'm gonna pummel one hook to the outside. I'm gonna punch my frame. Same thing. As he comes to bring his hips to this near side to pass, I'm staying up on my elbow. Same thing. Elbow strike. Right. If I'm here, like right now, he's a little bit on top of me. I would like to hip escape a little bit to make that space smaller. Elbow strike. Knee pinch. Lock this up, not allowing myself to go flat, continuing to blade my body. You want to try it, Mr. Duck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so initially, yep. you're kind of stripping out, you're mm -hmm. waiting for the reaction of them yep. driving in. Uh -huh. Just and then frame from frame. here, you're elbow striking and then bringing so the So get your elbow around his head. 
Yep, like that. Uh -huh. Get turn your right side. Get your right elbow all the way up. Right elbow all the yep, way so up. Yep. So turn and look at me. Yeah, and then get this elbow up. This one. Go back. Your right elbow. This one up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the way up, like turn chest, like like I'm here, like, oh, like a high, okay. like a high zone escape. Exactly. Just oh, initially, here. just for a second, you know. Okay. And and then you elbow strike and knee pinch. Elbow strike. Yep. And then exactly. Perfect. Like pulling this in, relax. Uppercut. Yep. On your uppercut. So so take do that one more time. So that this is a whole bit. Like see how I emphasize this is a whole section right here. This is huge. So you're right here, but when you extend your arm to me, do just like you're doing a hitchhiker. Yep, and now pull that way. Oh, Did you see that? Yeah, but yeah. then you, exactly. Now fist, fist, boom, dorsiflex. Yep. Bring your right hand to the inside of his uh, inside of his armpit. His hand. Yep. So no nope. side. Uh, go, back, go back. Don't lose that structure. Keep that structure. Your right hand finds the inside of his bicep. Yes. And lock the hands. Oh, uh, then. Yep. Right there. Do you have a preference on grip? I like I like this. Right here, and then you can go like thumb lift, like right hand to the top of your forearm. Yep. Now turn your chest to me. I'm trapped. Squeeze your knees together. Are you good? Yep, exactly. So what? <laughs> how that feel? How that feel to you? It felt. It felt good. Yeah. Uh, when I started to pinch the knees together, yeah. I felt like here. So go go go, go to his, go to his top side. Throw it on. So see, try try that bottom side one. I love that. If we can get that bottom side, like awesome. See that? See this? If, <laughs> no, no. If you can, if you can get it. If I can get what? That bottom side leg to control the hips for a second. Okay, the bottom. So my yeah, bottom like side. That. Because like, uh, oh, okay, okay. Start start in the butterfly guard again. Okay. So go body lock pass on. Them. So that's when pummel that right foot across. Press. Right foot to the far hip. And then as you go to pass right there, Austin. See how he's still controlling your hip distance? Yeah, the distance right and there. And then he can elbow strike and knee pinch. Press, boom, yep. Yep, extend your leg now, rest. Boom, keep your fist locked up. Yep. Nice, tap. Try the one from a uh, body lock like that. And then you're out of here. <laughs> you feel it then? You feel it? You see it? Yeah, so you're coming here nope, on like other an way, X? other way, other way. You're letting him pass. Okay. So. <laughs> You're here, they're going yep. off to the side. Yep, go back, go back, go back, go back. Elbow. Go back, go back. So as soon as he's there, like this, really, really get your frame like in his neck. Before. This one here. Yeah, before, before, yeah, yeah. So what do you so mean? So put your, put your head to the other side, Russ. Go left hand like this. Left, left, left hand across his face. Left hand, oh, okay. Like, yeah. just, just like for a second, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So then when he comes this way, so then when he rotates like this, you're right shut across the same, the same exact thing, you okay. know? So just for a second. Driving. Yep. Elbow strike. Yep. Instead of going, instead of going like that, like this is, that, I do do that. I do do that. Just keep this, keep this, and bring that knee up. Mm -hmm. Like that. Exactly. Boom. Hitchhiker. Yep. If you look at stop, see how you need one extra inch. Push off your right arm. Push off my right arm. Yep. To see how you can sit yourself up a little bit. Yeah. Just a yeah. half inch, you know. As you rotate that, boom. Extend your right leg out. Extend my right leg. Yep. Boom. Uppercut. Right Uppercut. Okay. Leg, leg over. Here. So, so watch. So, um, one detail. Um, so from the body lock. Thank you. Um, one detail. You know this. Uh, pull, pull in. Pull in. Pull in. Oh, sit back. Right here. As I'm right here. As I rotate this through. Just focus on how our uh hip distances. Right, so don't just like fall to so, like right here. Like when I'm right here and I'm putting this frame in and I shoot this through, look how I'm like pinching him. And this is here, but I'm control, uh, like move your hips towards me. I'm like controlling our hip distance, you know? So yeah. as he goes to pass right here, I'm still controlling it for like this last second. And then I'm here, if I need to adjust a little bit, I can grab my leg. But this dude, he's putting his head in that pocket. Okay. You know, so all I need to do is control this for that half second once he passes, being bladed, turn, right? If I need to adjust, I can right there, but like like yesterday, like right, I just stayed like this. He had this hand to the inside a little bit. Yeah, like this. So this is gonna be a bothersome, right? And then from here, like there's a bunch of different things we can do. The most common thing is they just kind of like 
put both hands on the ground a little bit and just put press up. And when they do that, right, I'm just gonna keep this. I call this like a fake buggy. Like, you know you can't lock it up. You can lock up just like how you did like that. Then hand goes here, our feet walk away. We're rotating completely out to front headlocks or darces. Okay. okay. Another option is when he pulls his right elbow back to his body. Um, that's the biggest thing that's a defense, right? Like you were saying, blue belt. So shout out to all of his blue belts. He's gonna crush you with this. Um, don't, just don't go to side control like this anymore. Always go to side control like this. That's what JT does to me. And I never, this and the combination of shoulder pressure right here, I never even get a look at it. Even like, even people go like this, I can still, I can still try like that. It, it, they're seeing it happen, you know? This works really well when the person like, is really chasing this, this side control like this, you know? Um, and then, so, but then as soon as he changes his hand from this side of my hip to the other side of my hip, uh, block the near side of my hip, uh, right hand on my hip, yep, like, yeah, like, you relax, you come from this side, and then you're like, shelving my hip like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. So like, when he comes to that near side, I'm just looking to gain this shin position and attack either side, triangles, boom, um, and then, yeah, like, the defense, or oh, right, then the worst case defense, right, is um, when I'm here, he sits back, uh, just switch your hips. So, so go back. So, I think you did. Uh, go back. Sorry, I'll give you a good. Sorry. So, um, uh, I think you went this way to this side and then pulled me on top of you. When you go, you want to go back the other way. I think that side will work too, but it's really easy for him to drop his right butt cheek on the mat, bring his feet really close to his butt, and then bridge his shoulder back on the floor. Yep, just like he's doing like a Darcy's game. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, but, oh, so, oh, yeah. Yep, exactly. You did this perfectly. You got out of both of them, you know. But um, but then from here, how we can maximize the position is we. Uh, I will like. I mean, I got double buggy that one time, so I just won't continue to buggy. Um, but we can. Uh, I can let go right here and just continue to dars on this side. Um, or a lot of times they see all of that coming. So the best thing to do is, I think what I did do, like as you turn, turn all the way to your right to get uh, your right elbow back. You just switch hips, get them out with the. I'm gonna hook on this side. Um, but that's the number, that, like that's the initial defense. Boom, boom. And then worst case defense is that one is really bringing your feet in close to your butt, you know? And then those are the routes to put it together. Like. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, where can we uh, learn about buggy choking the world, the system? Jiu Jitsu X, Grappler's Guide, ReneeSosa.com, at Renee underscore Sosa. On Instagram. Thank and you. Seminars at. Renee. Okay, awesome. Renee. Super simple. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the judo. Thank you for the. Yeah, appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome.